Good morning, everybody. It's Bishop Deb, and I am coming to you today from a graveyard. I'm in Niagara Falls, and I I love this. It's Fairview Cemetery. There are some amazing monuments and tributes to people, so I thought I would come and have a quiet time in the green of the trees and the beauty of the the morning, bright new morning. I hope you are doing well on this Sunday. I uh, can't believe how fast a weekend goes. It's it's always a list of to-do things, right? A list that to-do list. Sometimes you just want to rip it up and take a day off. And today, I would like to do that, but I have cross orders to get out. Maybe I can take next Sunday off. So I thought we'd begin this Sunday with a prayer, a prayer for the world, a prayer for our friends and family and and for ourselves. Just a very quick prayer on the go today. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this beautiful world. We give you thanks for all that is holy and wonderful. We give you thanks that we can choose to have refreshment and rest especially on this, your Sabbath day. We pray for the world, for all the chaos and tumult and turbulence that this planet is experiencing. And we pray for peace. We envision peace. We see peace. We ask for peace to be part of the reality of this world now. We visualize a world where no one is hungry, No one is injured. No one is hurt. We visualize a world where there's plenty for all and people reach out to one another in love and friendship. That there is a recognition that we are all brothers and sisters on this planet. That divisions would cease and unity would be the path forward. We pray for our friends, our family, for those who are under the weather, those who are experiencing more serious illnesses. We pray for all those who are grieving the loss of dear ones. And we pray for those who who are just lost, who are feeling as though there is no hope, there is no way forward. We ask that your angels surround each and every person and bring them a sense of their power and empowerment and the love that surrounds them. And we pray for ourselves and all the things in our lives that need attention, for resolutions to problems and situations, for guidance and direction, and for reasons to celebrate blessings. Today we ask that you hallow this day, that you hallow each of us, that you bring to us blessings untold, that we will see your hand at work in our lives, and that in every way we will know that we are your children and you are our God. And all this we pray in your holy name. Amen. Well, as I'm sitting here, I'm watching a circus. There are squirrels and birds and everybody's dancing around and and enjoying their day. So, you know, I'm going to take that as a cue. Enjoy your day. I'll enjoy mine. And God bless you till we talk again.